Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I'm your co-host Marky Mark and we are the Divided People. In this episode we have Josh Radcliffe, who's director, and Victor Jones, who's the actor. <clears throat> Josh Radcliffe is directing a local movie for Friday the 13th and we got to sit down and talk to him. It's pretty good. We enjoyed it very much. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to us too on any podcast platform. Anyway, enjoy the show. Hey guys, welcome to The Divided People. We got a great show for you today. We got a couple of guests here, uh, Victor Jones and Josh Ratcliffe. Uh, they're going to be promoting their new movie that's in the works. Uh, with me as always, my co-host, uh, Marky Mark McDaniel. <laughs> Don't put the McDaniel, just Marky Mark is good. <laughs> no, your last name's McDaniel. We're going to call you that. <laughs> right, so, sure. guys, y'all got a new project in the works. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, last October, we did a movie titled Halloween, and it was a fan film. It was something we just wanted to try to put it out there because the real movie was coming out in theaters. And we literally shot it in one month. We started on... October 6th, and we finished on October 26th. It, it wasn't like, sorry, it wasn't even really a month, it was like 20 days. Um, the object, or the goal, was to put the movie on YouTube for October 31st. Ran into a few problems with last shoots and stuff, and... Um, and you, did you run a problem with YouTube? No, we didn't run into... No, no, actually... It, yeah, when we, we did YouTube, it was fine. Yeah, YouTube was good. Oh, dude, YouTube gave me hell. <laughs> what, are you, what are we talking about? Like, just trying to get stuff up. Make me verify, and then it was like, oh, you need your right address. I'm like, my address is not even on the Google Maps yet. Oh, and gotcha. And they're like, oh, well, you have more than 15 minutes worth of product, so you have to be verified. I'm like, son of a bitch. And it's like, oh, you're MP3? No, you need MP4. Oh, you're finally MP4? You need a picture. <laughs> oh, you need a picture? You need as long as how long the audio is. Like, Oh my god! <laughs> I bet at some point in time we went through all that, but we're kind of we, y'all want to be on that. Yeah, yeah like we right. probably went through all that. I'm more than certain. So how long have y'all been doing this? Have like, y'all been doing these uh, movies? Uh, and stuff? We started doing movies back in 2007. Mm-mm. Huh? It was way before that. Though. No, well, yeah, when we were kids, we did. But when, I, I when we started to go, oh, all, all the way back. What started? Okay, in the yard with yeah. a camera that <laughs> films with. Um, did you start it, or did... Yeah, my dad had one of those cameras that films on the VHS, mm-hmm. oh. and he let me have that. <laughs> and so we would film it, but the way to edit it was we would rewind the tape, and then film over whatever we messed up. <laughs> messed the old school way. Yeah, and there was no way to edit it at that time. Like, we didn't even have a computer. Do like, you have Victor literally... an address some, somewhere in the past? Huh? Do you have Victor an address somewhere in the past? He wore like oh, a cape and stuff. Cape. He was a uh, dark Lord Cronus. And, and do we have, and do we have <laughs> he was in Star Wars. Do we have this film. evidence? No, no. It's, it's gone. sadly it's gone. This video Thank somewhere God. out there, yeah. like, <laughs> floating around in a pawn shop. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, that'd be great somewhere. Yeah. We would actually <laughs> used to take um, like sticky notes and write the names of the titles, all legit. Have you ever seen that movie Be Kind Rewind or whatever? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly what they did. People would go into the like uh, movie store and find our stuff. Yeah, that's Alright, so so th- that's how you started out. When did y'all really start getting serious with with this stuff? Um my drama teacher contacted me one day and was like, Hey, uh, they're doing a contest for twentieth Century Fox. And what they're doing is they're giving us all kinds of free equipment, and you shoot the movie, and you're in a contest, and whoever gets the most views becomes the designated Springfield in the show for The Simpsons. And since we live in Springfield, we were one of the ones who got one of the the equipment and stuff. Well, my uh, my drama teacher was going to get a crew together and kind of do it or whatever. He's like, I don't have the time. He's like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it right now. So we went up to the town hall. We got all the stuff. They gave us a display prop of The Simpsons, the entire life-size replica of them they gave us two pails of yellow paint <laughs> and said that the yellow paint has to be somewhere in the film i'll get back to that <laughs> so <laughs> man, you gotta smile you gotta... <laughs> so then they gave us all kinds of stuff they gave us like a like a guide to the simpsons they gave us like free dvds it was all kinds of stuff and then on top of it they gave us a free 500 hundred dollar camera and we got to keep all this stuff no shit yeah, yeah. It was crazy. So the fact so, that you got named like leader of this, you're probably like, 
<laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. Uh, we all knew who the camera was going to. Yeah. <laughs> so we do it or whatever, and we get everyone involved. The news came out. They filmed us. They We were in the newspaper, like everything. We then decided to use the yellow paint. And we were like, oh, what are we going to do with this yellow paint? And we're like, oh, let's paint everybody yellow. Okay. I'll get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> so we paint everybody yellow, including the mayor, the chief of police, the lady who owned the hairdressing place in Springfield. Everybody. But then we realized, after we painted everybody, that this was house paint. Whoa. Like yeah, so <laughs> everyone now is completely in head to toe paint. in yellow house paint. When How old were y'all? Uh, I was 15. So yeah. you tell me... Like, adults were just like, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, no yeah. one question. Like, oh, Fox but came the night we all, Yeah, Fox. <laughs> so Fox, some adults were like, 15-year-old kids want to paint us? That happens a Sounds lot. Sounds legit to me. <laughs> exactly. When you tell somebody that they're going to be in a film, you can pretty much make them do whatever you want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. People I mean, are so excited. Today. Look at, at casting, the, look at casting couch. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, true. That, 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 that. Today, uh, we're, I went to a, a gas station. We all went and got, like, drinks and stuff before we went to go film. And there was these two uh, Mexican ladies in there, and they were like really excited to hear about the movie. They were like super excited. They were like, "Let's be in it and stuff." I was like, "Okay, whatever, cool me." It's like they, it was just so cool how interested they were <laughs> to be in it. Like, I mean, I literally told them five seconds about it, and they were like already ready to be in it. But we were using their gas station tomorrow to film a scene or whatever because they have like these really cool old vintage non-working gas pumps out there. Mm-hmm. And one of our characters, Victor's brother in the movie, his name's Evan. He's uh, at a gas station whenever they, they talk on the phone or whatever. And we wanted to use something, because the movie's supposed to be kind of hick town. You know, it's out yeah. the sticks. All Jason movies are, like all Friday the 13th movies are. But uh, anyway, that's, yeah, that was interesting. Like, anybody will jump on board if you, you would think. Like, Everybody wants to be in Hollywood. Who yeah, absolutely. Hollywood. So the the name of y'all's production company that y'all, well, a project, I guess, you, I don't know if you want to call it a company, uh-huh. uh, is No Roads Media? Yeah, No Roads okay, Media. Before that, you had a different name. Though, we right? had four names. Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first, it was Little Demon Films, which is what we created when we were teenagers. And then uh, we created The Brotherhood. That was another one. And then we created... Uh, Shoot, I cannot think of the other one. It's on all our Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I cannot think of what it is right now. But anyways, uh, ultimately, uh, I took a whole like I took like a year and a half from filming, and when we came back, I was like, all right, we need a new name because it's like fresh start. And I was sitting at my, uh, in front of my TV, and uh, uh, Back to the Future was playing, and I saw the car, and I was like. No roads, because in the movie he's like, we don't need no roads or whatever. And I'm like, no roads media. And I told my friend Ricky about it, who does all like, um, he does a lot of our like intro stuff. Like he deals with like the um, title sequences and stuff like that. And he went and created that that intro for it. And it's basically the DeLorean flying off into the into like the retro sky, and it's really cool. So that's where it came from. <laughs> Cool. Did you um? Do y'all, y'all have some past projects I worked on? Some of them were pretty popular, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um. Our biggest project was we started a. Um. We used to play cards back when we were teenagers, and uh, who did? Yeah. Right. And we played. Um. We played the uh, card game Yu Gi Oh. And one day we were we were like, man, I wonder if we can like make Yu Gi Oh, but in real life, because like, that was just something that wasn't popular at the time. We made it. Seriously, it blew up. It was so crazy. Like, it was like 20,000 views a day. It was like just going. I mean, it nonstop. Like, a fan base grew. We had over a million views. Like, it was nuts. Like, I wish I could have that today with what we're doing now because that I just feel like our quality is a million I, the, times better. The time better. for that, I guess, was part of it because, I mean, that was just the thing. That was the thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And so after that, it spawned, like, another six people, and now they all do them and stuff, and we mm-hmm. don't. So if, if, you did a, if you did a Game of Thrones one right now, that'd probably be Right, the exactly. Like, I mean, hey, this final season, you... I mean, yeah, y'all, y'all you can, can do fix it. You're perfectly, <laughs> welcome, you're perfectly welcome to fix it. I, we, we can find a crack dog that puts some wings on it and call it a dragon quit. Yeah. I just, just want to throw it out there. That put we a are. Starbucks cup in there at least, right? <laughs> <laughs> After Starbucks cup. <laughs> now we too cheap. It would be like one of those. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to coffee, coffee cups from the hospital. <laughs> there you go. 
So we are actually recording this while Game of Thrones is on because we're just no, honestly, guys, we're just not that excited about this last season. Mm-hmm. I know uh, he hasn't watched it yet. How about you? Have you been following? No, it? I haven't. Mm-mm. Okay, good. Uh, good. Oh. <laughs> Don't do it to yourself. Yeah. So your project that you're doing right now is Friday the Thirteenth: Recur- mm-hmm. Return to Crystal Lake, correct? Yeah, Return to Crystal Lake. Yeah. What What made you want to do that? Like, um. Well, after we did Halloween and it got. Uh, it was grossing in over a thousand views a week, and um, it got to one in one night. We got sixteen thousand views in one day. One day, I don't even know how. Don't know why. Someday in November, <laughs> for some reason, someday in November, everybody in their mom wanted to go watch this film, and so it kind of just it started growing. And I was like, we need to make more. So I was like, well, let's do all of them. So I want to do all of them. I, I, I want to make Pinhead, and I want to make Leatherface. Really? Yeah, I want to make them all. So, And we were like, what would be the next best one? So we did Krampus because it, um, it was Christmas, Christmas time. time. Problem is, Krampus is not popular. No. So that video has like 400 views. Like, it, yeah. And we put a lot of effort to it. It bombed into movies, too. Don't exactly. Like, it's a cool concept. Yeah, and, it is. And we were... Wanting to do something Christmas related, mm-hmm. anyways. So, so we're like, let's just go ahead and make Did y'all it read into Krampus or did y'all oh, yeah, just go absolutely. with the movie? No, we looked into like. Okay, stuff. it's curious. really not a lot like the movie, honestly. No, it's not. That's why I was curious. Yeah, I did see the they, movie. They, in left, they left a lot of like lore out that was kind of like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could have went with that and it would have been a lot yeah. better. Our shtick for it was the whole elf on the shelf. That was our mm-hmm. unique thing. And so we basically took the elf on the shelf because it's very popular and turned him evil. And mm-hmm. so that was like our add on I kind of always thought it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole elf of the show. Yeah, thing. so what I did was I just out. repainted it and, and made him look evil. So, since you're going to redo all of them, mm-hmm. I imagine you're going to do Nightmare on Elm Street, of mm-hmm. course. We are, yeah. Are you going to end up doing uh, Freddy vs. Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keeps asking. Uh, I mean, it's an iconic movie. I know, <laughs> I know. Uh, a lot of people keep asking me, who am I going to make verse? Because I feel like at one point in time, it's going to get to that point where we're going to have to make somebody verse. And... Uh, Another channel on YouTube who have less well did have less subscribers than us and everything. They they took that chance and they made one. It was like a month ago, oh, and they really? made uh, yeah, and they made uh, Jason versus Michael, and it blew up. It has eight million views now, <laughs> and now they have like three times more subscribers than us. Like it just like it's overnight, that, that quick. Huh? Yeah, so well, yeah, people cause... love the versus thing, yeah, and not just that. It's just something about horror films. It's people... the slasher. Yeah, it's fun. Like. Yeah. Honestly, when we went into it, I was like, you know, these movies might not even be that scary, but it'll be fun. Like, I think those types of slasher films like that, it's really just for the fans at this point. It's not like, I mean, think about it. They haven't made a Friday the 13th movie in 10 years in, in cinema. So, and it's because it's hard to make movies like that nowadays and people be scared, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's more for the action. It is. is. It's, it's yeah. It's, hey, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to ask you about, uh, so you seem to be more of a fan of the past, the the the... Older. Yeah, the older horror genre. This movie, it's interesting to say that. This movie, um, the soundtrack, the style of it, 80s. Like, that's what I'm going for. Like, when we did Halloween, and this is serious, like, this is kind of random, but we, me and Nick only watched Halloween maybe once. <laughs> and we filmed the movie, and we're, like, making up stuff. We're, like, we really didn't look into it, kind of make our own thing. And then it turned out so much like the original movie. And we were like... And everybody, you can read the comments. There's like 50 comments where people are like, it feels like the original movie and stuff, like the old one from the 80s or whatever. I think it was like 1979. I'm trying to think when the first one. It's 1977. Which one? The original Halloween movie back in the day. Oh, yeah, it's pretty old. I mean, uh, yeah. what's, what's her name was in it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name. She was only in a couple things after that. Jamie Lee uh, Curtis. Yes, yeah, Jamie Lee yeah. Curtis. Um, but we made all our characters match the characters in the movie. wasn't planned that way. Originally, we were going to make our own characters up. And the more we start filming, we're like, this is like really <laughs> matching the original film. Mm-hmm. Let's just start naming everybody what they are in the movie. And it did, and that's how it worked out. And, and now that, that I think it has 80,000 views almost. So, I mean, it, it was pretty successful, I feel like. Now, one of the good things about like doing horror, I know it's like uh, historically a lot of horror movies is they, they had a low budget, but some of them just blew up. <laughs> I mean, they mm-hmm. made a lot of money with very low um, budgets. Friday the 13th. Uh, its budget was somewhere around five hundred thousand dollars, and they made I want to say twenty eight million or something like that open weekend, or fifty fifty eight million or something like that. It's pretty outstanding for nineteen eighty. Like the movie came out in nineteen eighty, so 
So uh-huh. do you plan on sticking with horror films for mm-hmm. a while? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Horror and sci-fi, because I, I do want to... I want to eventually do something like Stranger Things, that whole alien-esque, mm-hmm. teenagers, you know, 80s vibe, like they run into an alien or something back in the day. I, I really love that that style. But I know that that's going to take some time because we need to create an alien. We need to create, like, you know, a whole lore around him and stuff. Yeah, that's not easy to do. But yeah. Cool it's very fun to do, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's going to be awesome. I just, that's future. <laughs> right now, we'll stick with the low-budget, hol- yeah, like, yeah. scary movies because, I mean, like, I mean, like you said earlier, like, the budget could be really low and you could still get the point across. And, yeah. and I think you that's why we're it, going yeah. with that. Especially Quality nowadays, like you said, YouTube is one one thing can change everything. Right. <laughs> so what uh, what do you think about like the modern horror movies compared to the old ones? Oh, um, I have a friend on Facebook who's obsessed with Halloween. And uh, he... Um, he's always posting stuff about Halloween. And... He always makes like a list, like which one he liked in order and all this stuff. And the newest one that just came out, uh, he like lists that one like second to last. And so, and he's a hardcore fan. He's hardcore. He has a replica of Michael Myers in his room. Like, I mean, he's hardcore. So when I see stuff like that, it, it makes me like tempted to think like I should jump on that bus too. But at the same time, I'm not from that generation, so... I mean, I grew up with Scream. I mean, Scream was something I grew up with. And so the newer movies, they're a little cheesier in their own way or whatever. But I like the newer stuff. So. You do? You like yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Oh, you like it. the newer stuff? More? I do. I'm not more. No, I'm just saying I do like it. See, I grew up in the age with Friday the 13th and all that. So it was like, to me, that was like the coolest thing. Right. The weekend, having a slumber party. We'd go rent a VHS of Friday the 13th. Yeah. You know? And especially on See, a don't. See, I don't have that effect. Like, I don't. That, that was, wasn't me. I, I'm so. so sorry y'all missed out on that. I know, that. for real. I really, I, I wish I was uh, born in the 80s. Or I can't remember grew if it was actually Scream or Scary Movie. And I was young. I was like five or six. My dad took me to see that movie. Because he wanted to see it. And my dad fell asleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to cover my eyes on the bad parts. Uh, <laughs> I had nightmares for years of that motherfucker coming in my bedroom. <laughs> Horrible. Awesome. Like he fell asleep within the first five minutes. I'll never forget the, like, just, like, now looking back on it now, like, I know it's fake blood, but I was, like, looking at it, like, when I was, like, five years old, like, oh, yeah, the blood is, like, I think I'm pissing myself right now. Yeah, the blood in those movies are legit, no lie. I I couldn't get into the modern ones, man. They made me laugh more than anything. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I think modern horror is funny. I really do. I think that they mix funny with horror so much nowadays, it's, like... Yeah, they, they it's hard they, to classify. A lot, a lot less suspense, a lot more. Uh, they, they they do a lot of the uh, the jump, uh, the jump, jump screens scares. and stuff. I, yeah. I, I'm not into that. I preferred that old school like tension that the the older ones had. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm really glad y'all are y'all are doing this one especially because I love Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. So what what parts do y'all play in it? You, you're actually the director, but yeah. you're also in the movie. Yeah, I, I play Jason in the movie. And you you playing? I play Bruce. And who is Bruce? He's a there? he's a Camp counselor. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Camp counselor slash con artist. Okay. So you're, are you... Ooh, backstory. I'm about to say. Yeah, that's the backstory well, we of this all, film. Yeah. You want to know? Like, go ahead and tell well, them the story of the film. Well, uh, the, all the camp counselors are, are con artists. What they did was they, they devised this plan to um, to set up this, this camp getaway for troubled teens. Uh, and so they picked this abandoned campsite that they found and... Because it's for troubled teens, they can charge a lot more money off the parents, you know, to help with reforming the children. We really don't care about that. Once the kids show up, we just take their cell phones and then let them be to their own devices. And they all get high. Get out of here. <laughs> they automatically, automatically get high. Yeah. They all, well, they accidentally, but they end up getting high, and then the teenagers start getting murdered, picked off one by one. Oh, yeah. While they're, they're all getting high. So, that's the... the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's gonna keep cutting picture. back, you know, them getting, you know, murdered one by one, and then I can kind of see you just like standing up there at the window, like, damn kid. Oh well, oh, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what he does. That kid totally got oh, well. here. <laughs> no. That kid like, totally got murdered. Man, someone should call someone about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we have all the phones. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn, if only someone cared enough. <laughs> That's actually a pretty interesting premise because that that would totally work. Yeah. <laughs> People would definitely do. I that. like that y'all did that though because like now 
newer horror is difficult for people to do it because it's like, well, why don't you just call somebody? Yeah. And I can I take that away. Well, they always, they always well, throw in the phone. Yeah. It's not working for some Yeah. Reason. Oh, no, I'm out of service in this one particular spot, even though it's just on Facebook. My battery's dead. <laughs> and see, the interesting thing about why the counselors don't call is because they're already, they have a scam. They're, they're running a scam. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're the afraid police. to get the police there. They're all smoking and stuff. They don't want the police there. Fuck kids are kids. getting <laughs> Technically you killed on now. their watch. So the whole point of them not calling, but then Bruce does make a phone call or whatever, and that's the tension between all the counselors in, in the film, actually. Like, that's where they start getting in the fight and stuff, which is cool. Yeah, we don't want to give too, way too much. Yeah, but yeah. you know, you get the point. I mean, yeah, in the trailers, you, you'll you see it. Like, in the trailers. Uh, so when are you expecting that. a release date? Uh, in June. Somewhere in June, yeah. That's what you're shooting for? Uh, probably two weeks after we wrap. So, and I'm thinking we're going to wrap in the beginning of June. So, somewhere in the middle of June, hopefully, release. But we are showing it in theaters before uh, it hits YouTube. Really? Yeah. Um, Local theater or local? Well, yeah, there's uh, AMC does, they offer a, a, kind of like a, you can have a host a party there and you can use the screen for so long, X amount of time, and it's like an X amount amount of money or whatever. Yeah, I did. And so that's what we're going to do. We're, that's how we're going to get all our fans and all the people involved and stuff. To come Everybody watch who, who joined in on it and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't random as well. Wait, what? Random people. Mm. If they wanted to. Yeah. Come. Oh, yeah. Do a live viewing. Yeah. It's not going to be completely inclusive, you know. Yeah. Or exclusive. Well, sorry. Hopefully we get invited. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I already knew that before we started this. So, <laughs> so are y'all going to do like a rap party and all that? We were thinking maybe do something the same day. Whatever, if we show it that night or we show it somewhere around that morning, whatever verses, we'll do We'll do a rap party or whatever. So, um, what, what about the future? Y'all got any plans coming up and all that? Y'all got some something already in, in lined up? We've been kicking around a lot of ideas, but we haven't really set anything in stone yet. Nothing yeah. lined up yet. Mm-mm. Other than the, the movies that he was talking about, he would like to do those other ones. Yeah, I do do want I do want to do a Leatherface this year. Yeah. Uh, do you try to keep the same cast crew? Well, or? um, in Halloween, I'd have to say maybe four people from Halloween are in this new movie, and this new movie has like a twenty-five cast. So, actually, in this movie, um. We branched out because we were like, we want to find new faces, you know. Not that everyone we had in the other movies weren't any good or anything like that. I mean, it nailed it. It was awesome. But it was just the fact that, like, to change things up, it's like, you know, anybody that does a movie, they keep one or two people consistently. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, uh, Christopher Nolan. Like, he'll keep specific people in yeah, all his films. Uh, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp. Yeah, Tim Burton yeah. Johnny Depp, uh, Christopher uh, Nolan, and... Uh, Adam Sandler has his own little crew for a while. Oh, that's all his buddy. Yeah, yeah happy, uh, happy, happy Madison Productions. Yeah, yeah, Happy Madison Productions. So, yeah, we like to keep the, you know, the core people, but I think it was really cool how we branched out this time and, and met so many new people, and it's really changed the outcome of this film. Did you have to, like, fire somebody? <laughs> or be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm sorry, but you, <laughs> you're awful. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when the time comes and I realize, like, okay... They need some help or something, or like they're not getting the message, like not message, but they're not getting the point across, like how I want this scene to be. Mm-hmm. Then I'll have other people who very much know what they're doing to come in, coach them a little bit, and boom. I mean, that's how you work it. Like, I'll give them 15, 20 minutes with them, and then boom, they're ready to go. So, uh, do you have a difficult time with new people, or? Um, actually, the first day we filmed, it was so legit. It was the most legit thing we've ever done. It was so, because everyone knew their lines, and they were reading off their lines, and I was like, looking around, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, these kids, like, they know their stuff. It was nuts, because uh, I sent my friend Nick, who's the writer, um, I sent him over to to do, like, a, um, a read-through or whatever with them. And he, he comes back after, like, two minutes. He's like, dude, they know their lines. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, they know their lines? He's like, dude, they, they all just knew their lines, just like that. I was like, okay. Yeah. Let's do this. We even had some improv team actors uh, that showed up that day. That, that yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy that and, and your brother? And my brother. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, we had, like, we must have had 25 people there that it day. It was a lot of people. It was a lot. And um, everybody who was there just to help out or just there to watch, they were all in the movie. <laughs> we, we had a scene where, um, basically, the kids were being dropped off. And so we needed parents and stand-ins, stuff like that. And they were all more than willing to jump right in and... and 
And they killed it. It was awesome. Killed it. Had suggestions and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the suggestions, man. <laughs> They've been really good on this time. Really good? Yeah, really good this time. This time. <laughs> yeah, this time. What are some of the most outrageous suggestions you've got? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Tell me some of them, Victor. Okay. <laughs> I know, you got it. Me? Yeah. You're, you're, you're talking about the upper decker? You can see no, it. No, not upper for decker. Y'all, for those of y'all that couldn't see that, there was that definitely a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Backstory. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, you know, like sometimes people make suggestions like, oh, we should just not do this anymore. And it's okay, like. Okay, so what happened was. <laughs> um, it was. Um, I'm a very big stickler for continuity mm-hmm. because I, I feel <laughs> it has a lot to do with immersion. And as soon as you break it, people are so saturated with entertainment nowadays, they can spot it from a mile away. So I'm very, I'm very iffy about that. And there was certain shots that he wanted to do that involved things that I, I felt would break that continuity. And I, you know, <clears throat> I've talked to him since about it, and I'm like, you know, he knows what he's doing. You know, I'm just, I get inside my own head. I'm like, this is gonna, this is gonna ruin it. You know, people are gonna be like, oh, well, that's obviously, you know, but that's just me because I know what's going on. I've seen the, you know, other things that people that are sitting in the, in the seats aren't going to notice, and he understands that. I just, I'm the worry work. So I said, <laughs> well, that's good in a way. Yeah. It is. You know, I mean, and he pointed out some things today. I mean, a lot of people they'll point out like today. uh well, who pointed? Oh, somebody pointed out. Oh, well, her hair was wet last time we filmed. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we should probably go wet her hair. Yeah. Like I didn't. I forgot about. It. You don't think about all that don't stuff. Don't leave a coffee like, cup on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come <laughs> on. <Yeah. laughs> so I mean, sometimes when you get caught up, you forget about little things and if they're gonna matter to other people and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, but yeah, we got through it. I mean, that scene actually came out really good, but. So do y'all like recruit people? Do y'all do y'all do y'all have like any way for people to reach out to y'all and say they'd be interested in participating with y'all and all that? Facebook group. Yeah, this time around, uh, I knew a friend. She's in the film. Her name's Macy. Uh, I wanted her to do makeup and stuff uh, for Krampus, but there was some complications, and I wound up doing uh, makeup for Krampus. But uh, I reached out to her and asked her if. She knew anybody, and so she made a post in the Rise Haunted House that's in Livingston. Mm-hmm. It's a very popular haunted house around here. Um, she made a post in there, and I mean, there's like five people in this movie from <laughs> that work at Rise. So, it's I mean, a good place that, to yeah. from. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic, and they yeah. all know what they're doing when yeah, it comes to like horror love stuff. Doing that. I know a few people that work for the Rise, and they just love it. They get they're, it's like they a get, family. They're they like get a family. Hard on for that, dude. Dude, they're like a family. Like seriously, they lay in that cornfield all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not door. moving until the last person I'm leaves this place. Fuck on that little kid. Hit <laughs> <laughs> <Get> some pants. <laughs> Y'all, wow. Have you ever been to it? No, I haven't. Oh, I've like, never been to it either. I'm really going to this year. Really? I think we should all go this year. Uh, I'm down. That dude bought it. I forget his name. He's part of a band. Part of a band? Part of a band. He had like a, a, a very good band. Like, what? I'm going to have to think of it. Local or is this for like a no, real, no, real no, band? No, no, rock band, like, like real huh. interesting. Nirvana. Yeah, <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's, it's Kurt Cobain. He's dirty. He's, he's stuck in the you know nineties. No, Pontius. The staff from Nickelback that's going with Nirvana. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm from the West Bank. We had like we had what was it called? On, oh, we had a bunch of the uh, haunted houses on the West Bank. Oh, the one over there on La, La Pla- in Laplace. That one that's like a it was like a house. That one was pretty cool. We had a bunch of them. <laughs> it was like popular yeah. in our area. Oh like, yeah, on, absolutely. On the West Bank, they had one, and that was the same way. Those people take it so seriously. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you go in there and you start joking around, goofing off, they're mad. <laughs> and they're like, you're, mm-hmm. you're messing up. That's the, their the job. Feel yeah. of this. So what kind of complications you've been running into with this one? Oh, time. Just <laughs> That's time? the first one that comes to my mind. Breakage. It's time. Huh? Breakage. Breakage? Oh, yeah. We dropped a drone from the sky today. What? Yeah. What? yeah. Did it break? I mean, yeah. it's The propeller broke off. Oh. It's cool. I have a spare propeller. But so. you would probably just watch it calm down. Like, oh, yeah. Like, well, actually, I was Jason at the time, so I couldn't see peripherals. But I could see their faces. Like, it's coming down. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I was watching them like, oh, no. It's coming down. <laughs> and so they were putting their hands up in the air. <laughs> and he did. He caught it. But <laughs> like, oh. it broke on the his hand. The drone is worth more than you give it. <laughs> I'm not the sad you. thing is, though, the footage that we got, it was lost. So, oh, yeah, filmed it. It was awesome. It How was going to be great. How long was it in the air for? 
Oh, just a couple seconds. It was in the air for like 30 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. At least yeah. It's not like a 30 minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's just the fact that like that that was our one chance to get it with all those people there. So we'll have to reshoot it now. But yeah, it was just like, yeah, that's aggravating. It's one of those little things you don't think about when a movie's mm-hmm. ending. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the machete today also. Oh, yeah, Victor. Uh, How'd you break the machete? Uh, my superhuman strength. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally standing next to something, and I'm like, hey, don't do that. I was like, no. I was like dude, this machete's super weak. I was like, don't do not do that. And so, ten minutes later, I hear everyone, oh! And again, I'm dressed up as Jason, so I have no peripherals. <laughs> and I'm just Chuck like, it in the lake. I'm like I don't know what's going on? I turn around, Victor's like fooling with it, like trying to put it back together like with his mind or something. And it's in pieces, and I'm like, dude, it's cool. Like, that was actually one of the only things today that did not bother me. Like, whatever, it's a $5 machete. Like, we'll get another one. If I have flashbacks to this kid, no, it broke. <laughs> Dad's going to kill me. <laughs> My, uh... But the writer, Nick, um, he was like, all right, Victor, let's get a picture now. And Victor had to make a sad face. And I'm just staring at him like, what did you do? <laughs> I can't tell you how funny it is watching Jason Voorhees. Because the, the costume is, is very well put together. And um, Jason Voorhees will be running around like giving you directions and giggling like a schoolgirl. And I can't <laughs> tell you how upsetting and intriguing that is. <laughs> <laughs> not playing there. Yeah, that Jason no, telling you what to exactly. do. Exactly. Guys, you're not dying right. <laughs> do be like, it better. And be like, Macy, make up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, y'all, so y'all, how, how many people do y'all have on y'all's crew working? 30, easily. Is that more or less than what you usually deal with? That's much more than usually. I mean, I'm not used to that at all. It's crazy being able to be like, who's going to do this? Like, who's going to go get that? Or who's going to, like, help me with this? And I turn around and there's, like, ten people to pick from. You know, like, at that one particular moment. It's like... And nobody's like, getting paid. This is all they no, all voluntary. Nobody. Are you planning on keeping a lot of people, or...? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I've already, in my mind, like, they're coming back. Like, <laughs> yeah, I you know what I mean? I have, I've already got, like, my mind who's going to be the next main character, stuff like that. I'm not saying that they will, but, like, when we do, like, because the next time we do a film, I really want to have, like... Like a read through, you know, we'll like, and then we'll be able to see who can be the best person. Before it was kind of like, who wants to do this? <laughs> so, did you choose like upon yourself to be Jason, or did you kind of just fill in the role with director? Well, oh, uh, actually, I'm not the only person that plays the director and Jason. The other fan films, there's like three other fan films out there. The, whoever mm-hmm. they play Jason too, it's just kind of like. A rite of passage? <laughs> it's not a rite of passage. It's almost kind of like it's hard to tell Jason what to do. So if I know what Jason has to do in my mind, then I can just do it and get it over with. Plus, the costume is extremely excruciating. Like it sucks, <laughs> and I can't imagine anybody else would be have the passion as I do. Like I eat, sleep, dream, breathe everything of this movie. Like my wife says it all the time. You're like Josh when you get into the movie. That's all that matters. <laughs> She'll be like, you know, do this or do that, and I'm just like. I can't even focus because I'm just so wrapped around this movie. So I'm like, the only person that could play Jason and actually be there for every shoot and go through all this is going to have to be. So are you going to continue doing the main villain? Oh, no. Absolutely no. 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 <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I'm glad you touched on the family thing. I wanted to ask you about that. How, how do you? How is it for you budgeting life and this, your passion? Um. See, like, normally I, I'm an avid collector. Like, I collect action figures and stuff. And so... I usually have a budget for that. And so kind of like when I'm doing a film, my budget of that goes away and I'll, I'll be able to budget, uh, you know, the movie and stuff. And I ask Victor and certain people if they can help me out here and there doing the little things and stuff. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Does it ever conflict with your, your personal life or anything? Oh, no, absolutely not. No, like I, we... No, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to think where it went. Like, I'm trying to think where it has it, but I'm like, never one of those moments. Yeah, like, like no, man. because like, honestly, my wife, she would have let me know by now. So <laughs> absolutely, like, in fact, she's even like, she's like, I like when you're doing movies. It's so much better than when you're collecting toys because when you collect toys, you know, I spend like a thousand dollars a month Whoa. on toys. Oh, easy, Whoa. easy. <laughs> I wish I could budget. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I need to budget so, that into this show. So when I'm doing uh, movies and stuff, I don't spend nearly that much. Well, I, I kind of find that too because, like, my wife, she she kind of loves when I start writing because, mm-hmm. like, I, I I'm like a different person at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Like, I write a chapter or two and I'm like, 
I jump off and I start doing stuff and she's like, what's, what's wrong with you? You're, like, you're, you're vibing. I'm like, oh, yeah, I just got, I'm, I'm in creative mind right now. So I'm just, I'm doing stuff. And she's like, I like it. <laughs> and then like, on the flip side, like I take a day off and playing the game. You just sat on the t- uh, couch all day. <laughs> it's my God-given right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my wife just doesn't give me any of those opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Latino I'm madness like, first. You, pick, you, pick, you picked up a controller. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I mean, just coming over here, like that's why I asked about it, because just coming over here to do the podcast and all, it's, it, it ain't easy sometimes. It, uh, dude, wife, I, I know kids, exactly what work. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's why we film only on Sundays. So, and yeah, that's what we do. We started on Sundays is our day. Like, that's where we ha- all can come together and do this. So, are y'all making? Are y'all? Uh, do y'all have any like advertisements in y'all's uh, YouTube plays and all? Like, are y'all getting any revenue generated from it yet? Um, the thing is how that works or whatever. And I'm sure you know how it works. I guess I'll just explain it for a second. Oh, some but, of the viewers might not. Know. Yeah. So basically, what it is is, um, you know, if you make something and it's successful, like you know, say I'm, we made a jason fan film or whatever okay and say we never said his name and we just you know we made the movie called something else and and then all the music was our own music or royalty free then we would be making money because there's not really anything i mean it's not likely that you know whoever i guess uh, was a new line that makes uh friday 13 it's not likely that they're gonna come after us or something you know what i'm saying like for instance, the, <laughs> for instance, <laughs> Knock on wood for instance the trailers that we've made already that don't have whatever, we are making money off them. It's only a few dollars, but we are. And I, I thought that was interesting because I'm like, what about these people who are making like crazy elaborate fan films and don't put any uh, you know, Trailer. copyrighted music? Are they making like a lot of money or not? It, it really gets in my mind. I think about that because I'm like, do I really want what path do I want to go down? But then at the same time. We do have a composer, by the way, which we've never had a composer before, but his name's Braden, and he did the music for the last trailer, and it was amazing. Like, I thought it was fantastic. And, um, and so, uh, he wants to compose the whole thing, he actually has his own band and stuff for Southeastern, and, uh, he wants to compose the movie, so I'm pretty excited about we that. We should so. talk to him. We need some music. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we cool. Need some, we need some opening and Yeah, oh, um, he's got a few samples and stuff, too, that you probably could just have if you want or whatever. But look, I'm telling you right now, royalty-free music? It's amazing. Like, you could go, I could go down a wormhole of royalty free music. <laughs> Literally, you could just type in royalty free music on YouTube, and I swear to God, you could be lost for forever listening to it. <laughs> and there's good stuff. Our Yu Gi Oh! episode, the la- la- very last one we made, it only has 30,000 views, but that movie has no, uh, we never used any real music. It was all royalty free. And we are making money off not a lot because you have to make a lot of views. You have to make like a million views to be able to make any like solid couple hundred dollar check or whatever. But it's just interesting that we don't own Yu Gi Oh! But we're making money off of it. So I don't know. It's just, it's interesting that you could kind of do that. I, I don't know. It kind of freaks me out that you could just <laughs> well, use other people's stuff. And I mean, think about it like gamers and stuff that mm-hmm. use royalty free music. I mean, I just, I've never understood that. I've, I mean, I, I, I'm from a different generation, so I never I never got that, but little kids playing a video game, somebody watching it on the internet, and all they're doing is saying whatever it is they're doing in the game. And I'm like... And they're, they're probably they're, making they're, a they're, lot of money. Some of them are making millions of dollars. And I'm like, Bank. wow. Exactly. <laughs> Especially with Twitch, because you can... And play. that's why they use all that royalty-free music, because they know. If they use anything, you know... I think it, you can get away with a couple seconds, because I know a lot of people, huh? <clears throat> for use. Yeah, because I know a lot of people, um, especially popular people, use like little tidbits of like Post Malone or something right in the beginning of their intro. And I mean, they're obviously making money. They wouldn't be making all these videos or whatever. So I don't know how <laughs> it works. Get, but... get Post to write for us real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got to watch the copyrights. Sometimes we worry about that on the show, just say, saying certain things. We're like, maybe we should brush up on some of these copyright laws. Make yeah, sure we, did, like, okay. we did an episode yesterday, and we kind of like shit on Info Wars and Scientology. And so we're not sure if this episode is going to be able to air at all. You guys talking about Tom Cruise? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> They're all coming after us. More of the world. I mean, well, <laughs> the first, our first called. episode was a big discussion about Endgame. You were talking about continuity, and I was like, yeah, that was my, my huge problem with Endgame. Mm. I was like, dude, I could talk about Endgame for a while. Yeah, <laughs> you should check out our first podcast. Oh, I, I will. Curious. Because I, was, I, I can talk about Endgame for a me. while, I was, dude. I was furious. I hated the movie. Dude, I'm not going to lie. The whole time thing, it, it bothered me. Hardcore, dude. Where were you when we were looking for yeah. Dude, that time? <laughs> you should have like, been there. I, what, I mean, dude, what? I just, it, it burns me up. Spoiler alert, guys. I'm not putting any Yeah, it just burns me up that they 
can just get away. They think they can get away with making up their own time thing. Like, and then they want to talk about it 15 times in the movie where they're like, so, oh, this isn't Back to the Future. You probably understand a little bit too because, like I said, I write. So as a writer, when I was watching it, I'm like, really? You what took, were they thinking? Like, when they, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, I was thinking the same How thing. would you... Like, when you're writing this down, what makes you go... So, you go in the past, and nothing in the future changes? Yeah. If so, like, well, then what's the point? Wait, wait, wait. No, the worst part is, you go in the past, nothing in the future changes. But then later in the movie, it does change. Exactly. <laughs> and like, I was like, wait, you're kind of And then Captain here. America turns old at the end of the movie, which I'm very... I'm super, like, into the comic books. I could tell you a million things about the comic books. But the well, thing we're is... We're going to have another episode coming up on comic books if you want okay, to Okay, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I grew up reading comic books. But, um... The thing about it that kind of, like, at the end when he turns old, which is very... I mean, it makes sense because mm-hmm. in, the, in the comics he does turn into Old Man Rogers. Like, he's the old Steve Rogers or whatever. It's when he becomes a uh, super soldier. Thing is, though, in the movie, they show that they can very much change the age of people. Like, they change the age of... Uh, Ant-Man, like, five times. And then he turns older at the end of the movie, so it's kind of like, mm, will they ever change him back young? Like, I didn't think about that. I forgot about Will that. they change him back young? Like, can he be in another movie? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just felt like... And then them killing off... I'm sorry. I could go on this for forever. No, no, no. no I'm, you're full. You're okay. Huh? Yeah, well, them killing off uh, Steve... I mean, killing them off uh, Robert Iron Man yeah. was absolutely re- what? retarded. Oh, shit. Oh, oh dude, absolutely. Right. Because in the comic books, they wait, kill wait, wait, off wait, Steve Rogers. Right? No, he has. No, I forgot I've about that. Oh, yeah, wait, we should stop. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's Victor, fine. look. That was the best right, movie we've had on this you, podcast. Okay. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie by now. <laughs> How long has it been out, man? A month? Three weeks. Wow. That's not Four that long. Weeks? Yeah, don't watch our first uh, podcast. <laughs> China, I'm like, saying, I'm, I don't know how you avoided that, dude. Yeah, China, it's like, everywhere. Got it before us, and they were like throwing it out. Oh, they were pissing it on the internet. It's everywhere. everywhere. But like you said, you, you got a problem with continuity problems. You're gonna hate it. Really? <laughs> like the, like the, the continuity. Indian, like he was the snap. Like it's in oh, yeah, 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 yeah. no no like it's in, the language is in China. Uh, it's funny because like you hear I was like what? <laughs> he just cursed out somebody in China. Somewhere. Dude, no, but like them killing off him and then Steve Rogers turning yeah. old, dumb. Yeah, but, I, I told him I said they jumped the shark. They 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 pulled that moment. I was like, what? Steve Rogers should have died in that movie. And that's Iron Man should have just retired it, yeah. or something. Like, that's how that's this I, I thought that was going to happen because I'm like, who's their tech guy now? I'm like, is it? it's going to be that girl? The 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 one from Wakanda? I'm like, she's going to oh, be... Oh, yeah. She, she be is a... so insignificant in the comic books. Just saying. I know. Like, there's no way she's going to be a main character in the movie. No I, offense. I mean, who's going to be their tech person? I mean, the, the tech that Tony Stark has put forward... And Jarvis is dead now? I mean, well, thing. Jarvis is... I saw that theory like, uh... The voice for anything now better be Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, and I mean, it. Vision, Vision not coming back. I didn't they, see that coming. They, they shit on him. Oh, I was mad they, about they, that. They didn't even, they cut him from the other one too, because I remember seeing trailers when it was in its early time. Uh-huh. I was like, they had a bunch of scenes with, with Hulk and with Vision. Yeah. And then the actual movie came out, and I was like, there's no Hulk. <laughs> I was like, and there's no Vision. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's very little. And then he died off, and I was like, well, he'll be back. I'm like, he'll come back in the next one. No. <laughs> I was like, wow. And he, they just built him up. They were, he was in his prime. Yeah. And then they killed him off. Like, yeah, he came it's like they he have came to make a the decision game. or something. Yeah, I guess they're all sitting around a table. But they, they even built up the relationship for the family that they're supposed to have. And like, the, the kids are pretty powerful. And I'm like, oh, that's just gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Like, they, they teased that. Never going like, to happen. No, out the window. Never going to happen. No, I mean like it's like it's, it reminds me of uh, I know y'all haven't seen it, but Game of Thrones pulled pulled a very similar moment. Years of build up. I mean, you're gonna oh, it's eleven years of movies, and then you just like decide to drop half the storylines and, and just destroy characters' reputations and their and their character development. And I'm just like, do these people just don't care anymore? <laughs> and they made such a big deal about Peter Parker in this movie. Like they made such a big deal about Spider Man. And it's like, he hasn't even been around. Like, he just got introduced, and they're making a big deal about him, and it's they, like... They did that so, you know, he can take over the next phase, because I thought Captain Marvel was going to do that, but, you know, she she flew in. She got crapped on in this movie, too. She flew in, she flew out, like... <laughs> Thanos, <laughs> Thanos knocked her out the movie. Like, that was, yeah. Yeah, all this big deal, like, she's going to come and smoke Thanos, and then Thanos doesn't even have 
the Infinity Gauntlet and well, pops her I, away. Like, I, I, no, thought like that was like a, I thought that was funny because like you know the, they had the whole woman's right moment when all the all the girls somehow yeah it's it called the A Force yeah in the comic books it's called the A Force don't worry we'll handle this and Thanos is like nope <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't see, I didn't see why that was even in the movie I'm like they didn't accomplish anything so honestly that was kind of insulting to women I was like because. It didn't go they didn't even have, yeah, it was kind of like, well, I don't know. They got either. together to do nothing. Yeah, they did <laughs> like, nothing. To, to yeah. lose the gauntlet. That's what you accomplished. So moving off from Endgame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We're talking movies. We're going to like it. So let me ask you, what what are some of your favorite movies in Hollywood right now? I mean, I want to see John Wick 3. I, I love John oh Wick. Oh my God, I want to see that movie. <laughs> Victor I, has never seen John Wick. you never seen what? any John Wick? No. Oh yeah, we're going to binge that. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, dude, that's, that's what movies. I'm talking. Good movies. John Wick's legit. I mean, Keanu Reeves will literally take any role it seems I know that, but the play. fact that he, good in that. he trains for that. doing it like that's all him like he trained with the guns yeah. and everything he's, there's there's a lot of videos online of him training yeah like he amazing. can legit do that like Halle Berry too part. did you yeah, see the Halle yeah. Berry one Halle Berry got serious too she went and trained with like Navy SEALs and stuff I love that I love mm-hmm. when people do that and get into their characters and like I mean for instance Heath Ledger like how he like you know, like separated fully, himself for full some, yeah, and then came out and just guns a swinging or whatever. So Johnny Depp used to be known for that too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. preparing for like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, what think, happened to I Johnny think, Depp? I think he became, tried, tried, think he became Jack Sparrow. I think <laughs> <Yeah>. That's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> it's you're not wrong. I mean, right after he started playing that role, yeah, he started he breathed he started dressing Jack like it all the time, yeah. showing up at Disney parks dressed. Have you seen that? Yeah, video? hospitals. He goes to hospitals. I mean, uh, Captain America did it too. I mean, what's his name? Uh, Chris, yeah, Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. Yeah. Showing up I like love that. that. Too. I love when ca- uh, actors get into their characters mm-hmm. so much that they would go and dress up uh, outside the movie. Like did, that's cool to me. Did you hear the one about um, Chris Pratt though? Showed up and kids were like, "Who?" <laughs> <laughs> Just like in the movie. Just like in the movie, like Star Lord. Who's Star Lord? <laughs> well, that's like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that plays Ant Man. He's like. Uh, He's like, I'm Ant Man. And Hawk's like, no, come on, come on. Come take a picture with me. Come take a picture with me. It's cool. I want to take a picture. You heard his feelings. Come on. Ant Man was a huge character in Endgame to me, I felt like. like the rat was. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm what? just saying, like, Ant Man had a lot of screen time. Oh, yeah, it's Mickey Mouse. We, did, we, dubbed, we dubbed the mouse, it's Mickey. Yeah, that's Mickey yeah. Mouse. Oh, no, it's Mickey. Cool. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, Disney owns everything. So. <laughs> we're getting sued. Oh, God, are we? Disney probably owns us. As we're speaking. As we're speaking, they bought our podcast. Anymore. <laughs> I need a raise. <laughs> so when you go to uh, edit the films, uh-huh. how much do you cut out from like the raw footage? Um, usually, because I know you're still working on this. Uh, when we leave a shoot, we usually have like an hour of footage, and we'll use 20 minutes of that. If not, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot that gets cut out. How long um, are you planning on the movie being? An hour. One hour. Yeah, it's pretty well, good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how long the old school ones were. I mean, but they weren't very long. Oh, before. hour twenty minutes tops. Yeah, and um, you can't do a horror movie too long. It's just it's exactly you can't keep yeah. those attention. Like, that actually killed me with it, the new it. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. I just Will I didn't download the two parts. Huh? Will y'all be doing it? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. And I want to do our own concept of it too. So, are you gonna stab, uh, dabble into more of his books too? Yeah, I really want to like do something. It's different. I say he has a lot. Because you know the new one. I mean, the new it is like an exact replica of the original it, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Like yeah. they are so similar. Uh well, a couple things. Though. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Like there's <laughs> it, like it some lines push. by lines though. Like mm-hmm. they couldn't push certain things too far. Cause, yeah, you know, a lot of people that know. Well, books. I mean, yeah, in the book there's there, I don't shoot know the, the it two that just came out. They could, they put a side by side of the trailers and they were like identical. Why have you read the books? Of it? No, oh, no, no, but no, I no, own no. it. I own the book. I haven't read the uh, whole uh, 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 <laughs> There's, there's it, a very dark moment at the end of that for them to escape the sewers that they're like, we can't put it in there. Yeah, it's with the girl. Uh, yeah, it's, it's with, with the, the kids, too. Can like, we say that? Can we talk about that? I mean, we, we are, are explicit. Yeah, we're explicit like, as a kid. Yeah, like it's with the... Yeah, yeah, now, right? Right? yeah. I wish y'all could see Victor's hand motions over here. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> he's like yeah yeah that, yeah, that, that thing see that that's something that comes up with us too like uh, how far we're all sitting it? at Waffle House the other day how far can we push things yeah we're all sitting at Waffle House the other day and uh, one of our, the main characters in the movie his name's Josh he plays uh, Rob Rob He's like, oh, dude, we gonna put nudity in this? <laughs> and I was like, dude, no. <laughs> I wanna see some movies. <laughs> I was like, dude, we're not, we're not doing that, bro. I have to, when I watched your trailer, I totally forgot 
totally thought there was going to be. You thought you were going in that direction? I'm glad you're not, though, because... You can do the 80s way. It's like takes away right when you get to yeah, like dude. nowadays, because like before it was kind of like okay, but now like the recent ones I've seen that when they did nudity, it was just like you just threw that bitch in there. Exactly, that's exactly like, what I, it I don't is. Know, see, like the '80s movies, dude, you, you'd have a, a naked girl running, titties flopping, and stuff like that, and it was normal. I mean, we didn't even bat an eye at it at that point. That was just so that's normal. crazy. You know, it's also the times. Like you didn't have the internet. You weren't. You couldn't just go on your phone and see them whenever you wanted. You know what I'm saying? You had to like go into your room and like pick the box out from under your bed and everything, you know, and hide from everybody else. So I mean, it's not, you know, know. it's just a different time. uh, Good old Bush. Seems like horror and nudity kind of go hand in hand nowadays. So just, I don't know. But that's why I never understood. I was like, I'm like, either the horror villain is a major pervert. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. Every time they're going, like, they do the sex scene and they go span through the window and like you see, like Jason just like. Wiping his mache like, ooh, <laughs> I want the- that blood on this knife. <laughs> <laughs> Waxing the machete in the backyard. Waxing something else. <laughs> so y'all touch on some of the original concepts of the of the other movies, or, or how, where does this does it fall into like a, a chain of events from the original movies, or did y'all yeah, just go it's full? Canon. Yeah, like are y'all going with a full y'all's full own story, or did y'all connect it to any of the other ones? Uh, it could. That's where we left it. It's like, it could go with the other movies or something. It could go at least with the original, which is, that's how um, I like most of our stuff to kind of like, it can go with the first one, but all the other ones, no. There's no way. Yeah. Because there's so much. Some, I mean, of the, some of those didn't even connect to each other. Exactly. Dude, there's, <laughs> isn't that the one in space or something? There's 12. Like we're, we're not going to, we're not even talking about Yeah, that, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's 12 <laughs> movies or something like that. And I mean, half of them don't even go together with each other. Yeah, so. the, one, the one that threw me off was the girl with psychic powers and stuff like that. I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> like in Jason? It's true. In a Jason yeah. movie? <laughs> That's the one that threw me off is where uh, he's like in Manhattan or whatever, and he's like with Jason all them dudes Manhattan. like, well, the kid tries listen, to... and he like bo- hits that boxer's head off his head and it flaws into the garbage can. That was, was like, hilarious though. That, that yeah, guy, the I mean, boxer he... tried to box him and he just like... gets tired and then and that's how he became in Mortal Kombat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. He's he doing like a little here. kid at the background at the end of the two, which is weird. I didn't see that. I didn't see after that he gets part. drowned by the sewage water, he turns into a child. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So they just started going off on yeah. tangents. Well, point. actually, he turns into a child like a couple times during that movie. Wow. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, Friday the 13th is very supernatural. I never yeah. realized that until we start, I started watching mm-hmm. the other ones, and I'm like, man, I mean, there's a lot of, like, voodoo stuff going on behind this. He's not so just a dude in a mm-hmm. mask, you know? Like Speaking of voodoo, mm-hmm. we are in Louisiana, so uh-huh. do you ever plan on doing something like that, original maybe? We were just talking about doing an original film, uh, something Louisiana-esque, so that's not really ironic. Yeah, yeah, it's weird that there's never been like a mainstream horror movie that, that utilized this area. I know, I mean, they got Texas Chainsaw Mask. I mean, yeah, like, seen, nothing seen, with Louisiana. it seems perfect. I mean, Louisiana screams horror to me. Yeah. Oh, shit, next to Florida, I mean, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a ton of stories here already that there are yeah. four for real. Yeah. And I mean, they they really happened. The yeah. Lori House and you know, you have like Marie Laveau. Yeah, we were world. talking about her uh, the other day. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's explain that's to the viewers who that is. No, yeah. <laughs> 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 you doing that? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to Wikipedia that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, she's <laughs> like, haunt land, so you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Yeah, somebody was talking about that the other day. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do a witchcraft movie. Something along those lines. Out the swamp. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. But nothing in a works right now, huh? Nah. And also, if we if we do a uh, our own original, we uh, I've already discussed that it has to be for something. We, we're not... This isn't a... It won't be a YouTube project, you know? Other stuff's for views to get people interested, to form a fan base, a horror fan base. Um... But if we do an original, nobody's gonna watch that. They're not gonna find it. Like, well, once you get the viewers, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah which we're working on it. But at the same time, Krampus got four hundred views. Like, <laughs> well, so, that's Krampus. But I'm yeah, talking about like, you're gonna do Pinhead. You know, you're gonna do uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, stuff like that. maybe so, grow that fan base. About, yeah, a couple movies in it. You, you know, might be able to. You know which one I, I really liked when I was a kid? Remember Puppet Master? <laughs> oh, Puppet I, Master. I, I, I don't I know lo- what that is. You never saw Puppet Master. Uh-uh. You you're gonna do that. Leprechaun. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, uh, <laughs> You gotta get Peter Dinklage or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Peter Dinklage is. When I saw that on MTV, My Ninja, I was like, 
what? <laughs> wow. Like this is awesome. No, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it though, y'all should check out Pup- Puppet Master. Was awesome. Cool. Was, I'll look it into was that. Cre- it was creepy, but it was in a weird. They were interesting though. I mean, this guy has a bunch of little puppets and they come. They they're like killing people and stuff, but they all have weird abilities. Cool. And it, it's you that sounds that, that it, sounds it, like it's, something. Yeah, he's a, yeah. like they're little like marionette puppets, but they they start doing stuff on their own. They all got names. Like mm-hmm. all the puppets got names. You got to check it out. It's really creepy, but it's it was. Cool. Me and Victor were literally just talking about how we like puppets and stuff. <laughs> that crazy. is not a normal conversation, but <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, well, Chucky might have led to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, they got a new Chucky coming out. So what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm that's just waiting for the new Candyman. A new Candyman? Yeah, I heard. About I mean, it's not. I don't think. I'm just saying. I would love to see another one. No, nah, are they making one? I thought they were. You never know. So. Horror movies going like. Could be in the process of being made for years yeah. before they get made. Like I mean, you can sometimes hear about they, sometimes they get made and they just get shelved until somebody's like, "Yeah, we'll put the money up." Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. happens all the time. Yeah, that's true. So well, y'all have a uh, y'all have any way like people can donate or f- help fund y'all's projects and all that? We did set up a GoFundMe. Oh, not GoFundMe. We set up a, a PayPal because we were thinking uh, when we do the showing. We would sell sh- shirts to help benefit our next film, mm-hmm. and so, I mean it's not it's not. Like it's expensive rock, to rock pay the shirt to, over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's yeah. He's wearing the shirt right now. Uh, my niece makes those, and she's she can pump them out like no no problem. We have like five of them for all the counselors or whatever. Um, yeah, we gotta get some shirts together. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good for idea. The two viewers. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like three now. I mean, come on, we're on third episode. No, it's, <laughs> down, it's down to one after I post the next episode <laughs> last night. Oh god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I unsubscribed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> He's like he subscribed just to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna join this just so I can get off of it. <laughs> to show you how much I like you. <laughs> I'm gonna put five stars in, no stars. <laughs> so what uh what are y'all passionate about right now besides the movie stuff are y'all y'all got anything else going on any projects that y'all are working on outside of the movie stuff no i'm a loser i don't really have anything going on <laughs> you true. just wait for him to call you up hey i yeah. need you for a scene that's All what right, happened there there a little one. <laughs> he, he put he tagged me in a facebook post he's like hey you want to do this i'm like i ain't got nothing else going on <laughs> so. but the awesome thing is though is that uh victor hasn't been in a film in ours for a while and so uh what was the last film he was in bloodline yeah it was a long time ago what was that it was a vampire original that we did yeah Oh, that was back in 2000. That was based in Louisiana. Actually, you just reminded me. Can, can we count uh, Interview of the Vampires or movie? <laughs> Does that count as a horror? I think so. That was kind of. What else would it be, though, if it wasn't? Know. Know. They, they got a lot of weird names for movies, though, the genres. They, they, oh, they, yeah. used to be, they used to be like, there's six genres. Now they're like, no, there's 35 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, and things change. You, you double too. that when you put indie in front of yeah. it. It's like, yeah, it's not a horror movie. It's a suspense action thriller comedy drama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you suck. The comedy is the song they get put in <laughs> that does not belong for some reason. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, what, what do you think about when you compare some of these old ones and new ones? Like, like it. Do you like the original it or this new it? I'm a huge sucker for Tim Curry, so I like. I him. knew you were gonna say that. He I loves love Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. He was great in that movie, though. Yeah, he really was. I really he was great in anything he's in. I mean, he but he was. <laughs> I don't know. I saw the new one and I was like, he's not. That guy's not scary. Mm. I was like, he looks like somebody I want to punch in the mouth. I was like, Tim Curry looked creepy. <laughs> like I was like, I want to stay away from that guy. <laughs> I, that sounded the same to me. Like he's creepy. Now I'm still punching in the mouth. You come walking out like <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to put it. It just, it was a different feel. What makes way, you like? You oh, you are freaking me? I'm gonna punch you. Another one's like I'm no, getting the, the fuck out of here. The other one was creepy, like like creepy, like I want to approach him and punch him in the mouth. <laughs> Tim Curry's creepy, like I want to stay away from him. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's His completely... voice just brought such a presence. Is what I think it is, you know, yeah. paired with the makeup and his, you know, he was a veteran actor at the time. I can't do the lisp, that guy with that lisp, that the new one, that the way he does that voice, it's obnoxious to me. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, God, you gotta see that. You don't watch a lot of movies, do you? I watch a lot of movies, I just don't really watch... I don't, I don't like paying to see movies. <laughs> is what it is. I obviously thought you were just about to shit on something. Like, no. the way he set that up, I was like, I can should. understand that. I'm with you yeah. on that one. Like, I just don't see crappy movies. Like, <laughs> that's one of my favorite catch lines. But no, I, you know, I'll wait. 
and, and see what it's all about because you know when a new movie comes out everybody's still excited about it and they all have their own opinions and everything and I wait until all that's gone then I go watch it you know and I'm for that. It's got to be like it's got to be a pretty big movie for me to go. It's a, for me to pay and go to the theater and see it. It's got to be pretty impressive already. Wow. And, and and there's been quite a few movies. I mean, even even the big blockbuster Marvel movies. A lot of times they put out a trailer. I'm like, nah. Yeah. It's not doesn't look great enough for me to pay for it. Especially nowadays, it's so expensive to go to the theater. It's so expensive. expensive. I went. Well, By the way, I went Sunday and it was like eight bucks. It wasn't bad. Really? What'd you go to see? <laughs> Did it matter? It was, game. it was only eight bucks for a ticket. Oh, Man, yeah, yeah, okay. You told me it was a lot more than that. And then popcorn, <laughs> soda. I mean, popcorn, you're, you're yeah. giving them an arm, soda, you're giving them a penis. And then, yeah, uh, so I mean, like, I'm not going to go sit in a theater first born child. and not gorge myself on sugar and salt. That's why you bring a book bag. <laughs> they know what I'm doing. They can't call you out on it. No, they don't. No, I know. <laughs> I want to see the kid get paid minimum wage. <laughs> call me out. On yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me it's like, here's a dollar, dude. Go sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a raise. Go ahead. No, that, that, the theaters nowadays, I just, I don't know. I'm not, in, I'm not into well, it. Like y'all be do. charging or would it be free admission? Free. Free. Free admission. Free. That's kind of the whole thing with, with the t-shirts. Like, uh, well, you know, we're going to pay f- for the charge or whatever to get into the theater, but um, we're hoping that people buy t-shirts and posters. And that would kind of like compensate yeah, mm-hmm. for what we did to have that in the first place, and then also help with our budget of the next film. Yeah. I'm actually going to do a music video for a guy soon. Yeah, and he's just up at Jason. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with <laughs> that. <laughs> that yeah. the machete just I'm just, out. I'm just <laughs> saying, putting it out there that I'm doing a music video, and uh, and he's going to donate the proceeds. You ever thought to, put, to about them. putting local musicians in the like yes. movie? Uh, I've reached out to a couple different musicians and you know some some are interested some aren't uh, I'm surprised that people aren't right well you know it's like if people haven't heard of you they don't really want to work with you you know yeah and it's hard to get on the ground that's, that's yeah. true. you know how hard it is to find people to debate certain topics oh I could imagine we, th- we thought we really thought it was going to be easy we're like man people love to argue we're yeah. like then we discovered they love to argue online yeah exactly. and then when we're like oh well you're going to have to come with articles or facts just to help you a little bit Oh no! No, people don't like to discuss facts. Well, the worst part was feelings. when they found out. We're like, well, during the sh- during it, like you know, if you say something that maybe sounds outrageous, or if you're challenged by the other person, we, we may look it up to to clarify your fact. You'd be amazed at how many people are like, well, no, I'm not into that. Yeah. Like, why? You don't feel very strongly about your opinion, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. No. That's the thing when you're behind the internet. But That's the whole purpose internet. of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we want to get people talking, and we also just want to get interesting topics out there let people say their feelings and all that and and you know this is one of those things <laughs> here's one for you you who or chocolate soldier hmm? no chocolate water I, i'll go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate flavored water mm-hmm. not into that Mm-mm. i love you really? they give me the runs though but i love them wow this conversation went in a weird direction <laughs> <coughs> so what uh what would y'all like to see from the future of movies nowadays? Is there anything that, that you're just nowadays you're just like, eh, that, need, that, that trend needs to stop? Yeah, know? reboots. Reboots have to stop, man. Aren't y'all technically doing <laughs> something like that in a way? Well, I mean, I don't see if it's a reboot. No, I see, I see, I see this as a, I see this more as a tribute. I love it's like not really a reboot. Yeah, the same stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, like the stuff that I grew up with. I enjoy it. I, I don't think they're going to top it. Like I don't think they're going to be able to like oh, come yeah. up with new things. Yeah, the ori- it's going to become a new... The originality today, just, they don't have it. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, you know, For instance, the It movie. That's, we've been talking about that a lot and stuff. I am totally okay with them making a new It. Yeah, it may not be as awesome as the original It, but I'm okay to see more It stuff in general. Like, just saying. Like, they're not going to make up a new clown movie in the top it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm okay yeah, with that. It's not like you still movie. can't go watch the old one. Yeah, of course. You don't like the new I'm not saying that, yeah, I mean, Michael Keaton's Batman is my favorite Batman, but I still will go watch every Batman movie that ever comes out. I see what you're saying, but at the Robert same Pattinson. time, like, Monster Madness. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> happened back in the, what, 40s and 50s what? with Dracula, Wolfman, The Mummy, yeah. and everything, and then. Didn't Universal uh, drop that? 
Did you hear about that? Did they really? Yeah, yeah I yeah. actually like well, Dracula own that for forever. I, I, I like no, no, Dracula. they dropped yeah. the whole because they made Dracula three hundred three thousand. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, Dracula, Dracula like three thousand. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it's called. No, it's either no, Dracula no, no. three thousand or Dracula is two thousand. Yeah, the newest one. No, the newest is called Dracula. Uh, Dracula Untold or something like that. Oh, the one where he's got wings and stuff. Not that one. No, no like, not the uh, old one. It it's came like out from like, the early two thousands or something. No, 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 no. No, the newer one. It was a newer one. Oh out, yeah, 14, with the guy that's in. Uh, yeah, like, he's in the Hobbit and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. they had that, and then they had the Mummy, and they were supposed to coincide with each other. Oh, and but Tom Cruise. All their stories were supposed to come. Made the Mummy movie. Yeah, that kind of tanked because you know Scientology was. Oh, I thought. Exposed. I thought that, that uh, the Mummy movie was a continuance to the original Mummy. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to start their own little universe. No with way! That. I didn't uh-huh. know that. Yeah, but like oh, I said, I Scientology know. was getting exposed during that time. Oh, I didn't even go so see Tom that movie. Kind of I don't yeah. like Tom Cruise. So. Yeah, all the all their stories were supposed to coincide. That was mm-hmm. why it ended the way it did with him being in modern times now what? and all that. It was a it was an awesome concept because they said they were actually taking that cue from like Marvel. Yeah. They were like, you know, they wanted, yeah, that they style. Wanted, yeah, they wanted to create that I, I liked it. I, I liked the, the Dracula movie. I didn't I did, really I have did a problem with it. Yeah, it was good. I because, I mean, for sure. It's kind of like what you said, though, because, like, for instance, like, old stories like that, when you retell them, you can't really go wrong because the lore isn't as specific as, like, comic books. Yeah. I so mean... that's why I was okay with that. Like, The Mummy, too. Like, you can't... You can't I mean, think about that. it. What if they never did make more mm-hmm. new movies? That would suck. <laughs> Think about it. Like, what if they never made well, like, another Spider-Man movie, or they like, never made all these other movies? I mean, I mean, look at lately. I mean, it does kind of seem that way. I mean, what's some of the recent? Like, if if you go down like the list of recent movies that's come out, it's like every one of these is like a retelling. Of and you could have seen these a couple years ago. Like, yeah. What was that movie again? What men? What men want? I was like, really? Yeah, that's it. Uh, what women? Yeah, oh women. yeah. And I was like, wow, y'all just y'all, there's no originality anymore. Y'all are just full on doing whatever y'all can. Yeah, there so. was also uh, like Blade Runner too. Oh, the new Blade Runner. Yeah, uh, yeah, but that was a that was supposed to be a continue of the, that one, and uh, I I didn't mind it. It wasn't that bad. Really? Okay, well, let's say uh, Planet of the Apes. I didn't see that. Didn't see that. the newest ones. Mm-hmm. They were okay. They were good. I'm not gonna lie. Those were those were good. Like you can you can do reboots well, such as Planet of the Apes, but then you also have like RoboCop. <laughs> Robocop was garbage. Well, Robocop is just cop brutality. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, or okay. Brutality um, on him or, or to everybody else? A little bit of both. <laughs> like you understand. You know? Oh, come on, don't go there. Wait, what? Go, no, I'm just saying. But they're, but they're fixing that. They're fixing that. Yeah, no, which is awesome, you know, and hopefully they do well. I, you know, I wish them the best of luck. I just, you know. I mean, they, they said that, that new one's not canon, so. And that's fine. They, you know, look, there's plenty of movies like Jason X. Nobody considers that game. My wife made me watch yeah. the new Mar- Mary Poppins movie. Mary Poppins Return. Is that any good? Oh God, no. No. <laughs> Emily Blunt's not good. Enough? Oh God, it was it was horrible. Mm-hmm. They 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 yeah. they just they, it had it had not the heart for of the she, original. She's movie. married to my man. Who's that? Jack uh, Krasinski. Okay. From the Office. Jim. Hmm. Jim. Yeah, that's my boy. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I like, like the whole rumor with you know Fantastic Four as them two playing uh. Mr. Fantastic and uh oh for the new one mm-hmm. man I, I hope they do that right I hope they do Fantastic Four Justice I've, I've waited so long for them to do that right to do it right yeah, they really need one but I want to see them do Silver Surfer right too I've been waiting for that and I want to see Galactus and all that stuff I, I don't know Mar- I, Marvel built up my hope so much and dashed the <laughs> as quickly Marvel set the bar really really high yeah but then they they went ahead and smacked their head on that bar because yeah. they they just, I don't know. I, a lot of people love the movie. It did well. I just, personally, I just didn't see it. I got hated on a lot, though, for not liking for just it. I, I, you would be amazed at well, how many people come at you. You didn't follow the herd, man. If you don't follow the herd, you're going to get kicked. <laughs> so, guys, where can we find you at? Oh, is this the shameless plug part? The shameless plug, absolutely. <laughs> that depends on you. I mean. All right, so, uh... You can go to you can head over to Facebook.com and check Slash. out <laughs> No Roads Media. And then uh, on YouTube it's also No Roads Media. And then also we have another Facebook page that we created. It's uh, for Friday the thirteenth return to Crystal Lake. So you can you can go and look that up too individually. And it has a couple uh, over a hundred followers on all of them, so um yeah, check it out for sure. Yeah. I'm I'm not really good at this part. At this part. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, that's okay. We thank y'all for stopping by, and uh, thank y'all for listening. Oh, and check you. out the movie, guys. Thank you all for listening to this episode. 
go to YouTube or Facebook and type in No Rose Media to find them. They dropped some nice trailers for their movie. And yeah, it'll be coming out soon. I think it's going to be a good one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Subscribe to us. And you can also subscribe to us on any podcast platform. Also, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. Uh, we all call the Divided People. And if you would like to be on this podcast for an episode to discuss anything, you are more than welcome to. All you have to do is contact us on any of the social media platforms, and we'll definitely get back to you. See you guys later.